This short video is designed to support our early years teachers with moving files from their classroom Mac mini computer to OneDrive, an online file storage service that's part of our divisional Office 365 license. To access OneDrive, simply open up your browser, and in your browser you can navigate to the divisional website. From the Login pull-down menu at the top center of the page, you'll find Office 365. I've already logged into my Office 365 account, and within Office 365, I would now go to OneDrive. Opening up my OneDrive shows me all the contents of my OneDrive folder. I'm going to make a new folder, and this new folder I'll just call 2020 Classroom Computer. And once I've made that folder, it will appear in alphabetical order. And starting with 2020, it's right near the top of my list. I can now go into this folder and I can basically use this as an online file folder or filing cabinet where I can save all of my files. Saving files into OneDrive is a piece of cake. It's simply drag and drop from your classroom computer. And I should note that you have five terabytes of storage space within your divisional OneDrive account. That is a huge amount of storage space, equivalent to about 325 free Google accounts uh, with the Google Drive storage space that you're assigned. So you will probably never run out of storage space within OneDrive. When you are uploading files, there's a couple things you need to be aware of. Copyright matters. You want to make sure that you have the right to share the files that you are moving into this online storage space. So this is a great time to actually sort and organize files and make sure that you have permission to share what it is you're trying to share. Another thing that you need to be aware of is the file names on your computer. The Mac platform allows you to have all kinds of interesting characters in your file names, like question marks and slashes and colons, but if you try uploading by dragging and dropping a file that has special characters, you will find that you receive an error message. It tells me right here that I cannot include any of these special characters in the files that I upload. So take this time to organize and review your files and ensure that you will not run into problems and difficulties at uploading some of your content. The easiest way of uploading your content is opening up your Finder window on your computer. From your Finder window, you'll see all of your favorite locations are um, kind of shortcuts on the left-hand side of the window. You could go down to your home screen or your home folder where you will find all of the folders like your desktop and documents and your movie files, or you could just go directly into each of those locations. On my desktop, I've got several different files that I could try to upload, and it's as simple as drag and drop. In my iPad Media folder, I have a whole bunch of pictures and videos. There are over 1,000 pictures, and there are about one gigabyte worth of videos in this folder as well. I can simply take this whole folder and drag and drop it up onto OneDrive. When I do that, it's going to start looking at this folder and telling me how many files are included and because there are a lot of files, we know that this folder is going to take a long time to upload. The larger the files are and the more files there are that you are transferring at the same time and uploading at the same time, the longer it is going to take. If your home wireless network is not super robust, you'll find that it takes some time to do these uploads. Um, but obviously you would be at school where you'll be on the divisional fiber network these uploads will be much, much faster from that location. When I click on uploading, I will actually see the progress. So it's showing me all of the files and you'll see that this is actually over seven gigabytes of content. On my home wireless network right now, this would take hours and hours for all of these files to upload. Yet if I were sitting in my classroom attached to my computer, this would probably only take several minutes to upload all of these files. The important thing to note here is that if you are uploading lots of files at the same time, you cannot interrupt this process. If this were to time out, if I were to lose my connectivity or my access to the internet, or we lost power on the computer, there would be no way to determine which files had transferred successfully. So my suggestion would be to break your uploads into small chunks so that you are able to upload everything successfully. That's another thing that would also happen if you are organizing and sorting your files accordingly. 
So what I would do on my computer is look at all of these locations like documents. You probably have lots of folders where you save things. You can drag individual folders across to OneDrive. Um, you'll also want to make sure that you've uploaded any movies or pictures that you may have. If you have a whole lot of content in your photos library, you probably want to export those photos from your photos library so that you can actually upload them as JPEG files that will be easily accessible from a non-Mac computer. Hopefully these uh, tips and suggestions will support you and good luck. If you have any questions, send me an email andy.mckeel at sjasd.ca. Thanks.